Once again, gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is a video for men still, and it's a continuation video to the other video that was talking about low testosterone. So this one is just means of boosting these testosterone levels. So you already know you have low testosterone. What are the symptoms of this low testosterone? Symptom number one has to be insomnia. Remember in the other video we said that testosterone levels are the ones that give you sleep. So if you have low testosterone levels, then you'll have problems with sleeping. So that is insomnia, basically lack of sleep. And that is because of low testosterone. Number two, we have PE and ED. That is premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. Therefore, those of you who have been asking me, I'm suffering from premature ejaculation and I have erectile dysfunction. How do I change this? You don't need drugs. You don't need to go and buy sildenafil to boost your sexual agility. What you need is what we will talk about. Okay, you edit your diet, you go for the gym and you start fasting. So basically that will clear premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. That is a symptom of low testosterone levels. Our T. Number three is physical changes. So basically you will increase body fat, meaning your estrogen is going up and estrogen comes with accumulation of fat. Your testosterone are going down. And when testosterone levels go down, you will have to drop body mass. Okay, so you'll start becoming low in body mass but high in body fat. Those are symptoms of T. Then mood changes, basically agitation, you're easily irritated, you're depressed because maybe you don't perform sexually as you'd want to and also you're not having that uh, feeling of well-being as a man. So that will end you into depression and mood changes. Again, small testicles. Shrinking of testicles is a major symptom of low testosterone. Again, there are such that, that uh, indicate a shrinking in brain. Uh, because of the use of drugs, obviously, and all that, and therefore also an augmentation in testosterone dropping levels. Okay, so that is number five. Number six is fatigue. Unexplained fatigue is a symptom of low testosterone. Then loss of hair. There's skepticism about baldness and stuff, because most bald people have a good beard. So there's a there's a slight change, a chance that a body mass uh, or body hair, sorry is caused by a low amount of testosterone so generally distribution of hair and that's when uh, there's diagnosis and you're doing all these tests or diagnostic tests for testosterone levels you go for physical examination and you look at distribution of hair then we have anemia definitely why because testosterone activates the kidneys to produce erythropoietin which produces uh, red blood cells in the bone marrow and therefore if you have low testosterone levels then you'll also suffer from anemia Remember, men are masculine, and those muscles require a lot of oxygen and a lot of red blood cells to transport this oxygen. So anemia is a symptom of a low testosterone. And then finally, we have low sperm count and low semen. So once you have semen, you've altered the quality of sperm, and you'll have a problem in fertility. So those are just the symptoms of low testosterone. Now, you have now low testosterone. How do you diagnose it? You go to the hospital, they carry out blood tests, and your testosterone levels in blood are low. They also carry out a HbA1c test, which is just basically a glycation test that measures how much of sugar is attached to your red blood cells, and that is about anemia. Also, that is about diabetes, which again kills the nervous transmission towards the penis, also kills the blood flow towards the penis, and kills the kidneys. So that is what you do as a form of diagnosis. Then physical examination, of course, and uh, yeah, and basically uh, the body structure. So that is what we do for diagnosis of low testosterone levels. Now, you can also do a test that uh, indicates the density of the bone. Why? Because testosterone boosts uh, bone development and the density increases. So if your bones are winning off and you're having these weak bones, then testosterone levels are going down. So that is how you diagnose the, the, uh, low testosterone. So how do we boost these levels of testosterone? Remember what to kill and then remember what to enhance. So what to kill is basically what you're running away from. Number one, sugar in all forms. Be it the table sugar that you add in, uh, in, in tea. Be it fruits that have fructose that kill the liver and kill the kidneys and therefore lead you to low testosterone levels and, and, uh, and premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. So basically, most of us don't even realize we are having a problem with our livers until we start experiencing premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. Again, after you get this, you will not you will not blame it on what you eat. You will hardly get it that it's your liver and your kidneys that are getting a problem. They're already fatty and the kidneys are dying. 
you look at the smaller picture. The bigger picture has to be the liver and the kidneys. But the smaller picture comes in with you running to the pharmacies and buying those drugs that enhance your sexual power. Now, that is just managing a symptom. You're not, you're not managing the cause. So, if you drop sugar in all forms, be it fruits, except avocado or the lemon. So, all other fruits have sugar that kills your testosterone. Okay? So, if you avoid sugar by all means, be it soda, energy drinks, those fruit juices, yogurts and stuff, they have sugar and that sugar is very dangerous for you. Honey, avoid them. And simple carbohydrates, basically, ugali, rice, chapati and all that, wheat products, uh, oats, spaghetti, anjera, all this chapati and mandazi, all these sweet products are classified under simple carbohydrates and these are the ones that will cause you insulin resistance. And remember, insulin resistance is the source of all your problems uh, that are concerning testosterone. So that is the first step. You have to kill sugar in all forms. And then number two, you soy products. We have soy milks, we have soya beans, we have protein, uh, those, those protein shakes that uh, people use to enhance their uh, muscles in the gym. Now, this will alter your kidneys and then they will lower your testosterone levels. Again, they will bring you problems of heart attacks and stuff. So avoid any supplements in the gym. If you have to gain mass, gain it naturally. Lose that fat and then start building muscle from that. Healthy living will help you gain adequate mass and a good frame as a man. Don't be in competition. Do not go to the gym and you want to compete. Ego lifting is very dangerous. So go to the gym with a purpose and with a schedule. Follow it religiously and follow it with appropriate diets and fasting. You will gain mass. So soy products and MSG. MSG is basically a chemical that is found in, is highly carcinogenic, can cause you cancer and mimics estrogen. So acts as estrogen because it activates the receptors of estrogen and therefore they lower your testosterone. This is found in those processed foods that you eat, the restaurant foods. And also here we can avoid also seed oils. So seed oils, the one that you use for cooking are a problem here. So use animal fat to cook because you need animal fat to boost your testosterone. Okay? Likes of lard, tallow, sweat, ghee, butter. Use those. Now, number three, alcohol and drugs. Alcohol, beer is highly estrogenic. Stay away from alcohol by all means. Number two, beer causes a problem in the liver. So beer causes hepatitis. It breaks down your liver. Also causes a fatty liver. Now, once you affect the liver, then you start affecting the hormones in your body, including testosterone. So once your liver is fatty and is affected, you start getting premature ejaculation and rectal dysfunction. And how will you know your liver is affected? You will start having abdominal uh, distension. So you'll have that pot belly. So if you have a pot belly as a man, just know that it's a symptom of a fatty liver. So it's time to drop that bottle. And depression and all these conditions are, re uh, are, are, are replaced or are... Uh, uh, they are destroyed or they are reversed by dropping that bottle and going to lift the bar. So, basically, alcohol and drugs. And on drugs, we have both narcotics, the ones that we abuse, the cut, the, the mirror, the cigarettes. Uh, also, alcohol is a drug. The cocaine, hard drugs that get you this addiction. And also, statin. So, basically, these drugs that help you lower your, test your cholesterol levels, they will lower your testosterone levels. So people who are on these drugs that are used to lower blood cholesterol, you will have to stop it if at all you want to get an ag agitation, uh, sexual agitation or sexual uh, prowess. So drop these drugs. Why am I saying that? You can drop those drugs by only managing your diet. You cannot drop those drugs because I know you're afraid and you're saying if I drop these drugs then my cholesterol will go high. You need cholesterol for your survival. And you will get good cholesterol from eggs, liver, meat and all those proteins. But bad cholesterol will come as a result of consuming uh, carbohydrates, which will be converted to fat, and then you get the bad cholesterol. Now, the blue lights. Kill the blue lights by all means. Your television, your laptop, and your phone, this should be kept off or should be turned off before 10 so that you get to sleep, and sleep is very important in testosterone boosting. Now, also, the rays that come from the laptops that you put on your laps, do not put a laptop near your testicles or it will destroy your testosterone levels so avoid the blue lights let them go off and sleep okay and then pornography and masturbation we will not emphasize enough on pornography and masturbation this is a disaster and this is a pandemic that is killing our youth 
every person. Now you have to kill the cues. You have to kill those porn sites on your phone. Remember, pornography and masturbation, these are just things that numb your sexual centers in the brain. And this will cause you low testosterone levels. Okay? Now, again, on this, on, remember it's just entertainment. Pornography is entertainment. So you are being lured into pornography as a form of entertainment and you're getting addicted to this. And getting out of pornography and masturbation is a hard thing. However, with appropriate mindsets and appropriate people, people who will challenge you to be a better person, then you'll have to drop uh, and walk away from masturbation and pornography. The last one has to be weight and fat. Fat is highly estrogenic, so if you are fat as a man, you will have to lose that weight for you to gain back your sexual prowess. Again, weight comes as a result of accumulation of fat. So losing weight is very important in reversing insulin resistance that causes low testosterone that brings you erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation so we are saving the man from these videos now again what do you enhance so what do you go for on diets we already said what to drop now what should you eat number one has to be steak meat is very important to man a man has to eat meat whether red or white meat is very necessary for you eat meat in plenty make it fatty so eating fatty meat will give you good cholesterol that will uh, help you get cholesterol, get testosterone from the cholesterol that is in meat. So you need to eat meat in plenty. Forget the issues uh, or the misconception that meat will cause you heart condition and stuff. Those are just marketing strategies for uh, some food industry. So ignore that. Eat your meat. Eat eggs, six to eight eggs a day for a man because eggs has good cholesterol. Then chicken, you can eat chicken. Basically, make it organic chicken and eat plus the skin because the skin is very good. In, uh, in your process of developing uh, testosterone. Again, drop simple carbohydrates. So concentrate on the complex carbohydrates that we keep singing about. So you have to drop ugali, you have to drop rice, you have to drop uh, chapati and wheat products and replace that with arrowroots, sweet potatoes, green bananas, pumpkins, butternuts. Pumpkins you can eat with the seeds. Why? Because the seeds have high content of zinc and zinc is very important in development of sperm and testosterone. Then the beans. So those are the six carbohydrates that you're supposed to eat for you to boost your testosterone levels. Again, combine this with all sorts of proteins and animal fat and vegetables. Remember, vegetables are very important in breaking down estrogen. They have enzymes that break down estrogen. And that means you will have a boost in testosterone. So now if you break estrogen, then testosterone levels start to rise. So that is what you're supposed to do on eating vegetables. So basically that is your diet. Number two has to be exercise in the gym. Do not just go to lift weights aimlessly. Go to the gym with a purpose and with a schedule. If your gym instructor is fat and obese, has a pot belly but lifts heavy, ignore his programs. Okay, Find somebody who understands muscle physiology and anatomy. Uh, find a person who understands the basic of gym and the basic of weight loss and being a man. That is a person who will guide you to get uh, appropriate uh, mass and the body structure that you desire and even lose your weight. Again, do not go and run on a treadmill for 30 minutes. Do not go and do aerobic exercises. These are exercises for women. They boost estrogen levels and they make you feel good. Remember, the gym is supposed to replace the physical exercises that you are supposed to do. For instance, going to the farm, digging and doing all this hard stuff. So the gym replaces that. So going to the gym and also ha start having fun, just jumping all over, is a problem for you because you don't need that. You need heavy lifting. The likes of the big six squatting, bench press, overhead shoulder press, bubble rows, deadlifts, and pull-ups. Those six are the most important exercises for any man. And if you get into the gym, you have to squat. You cannot get into the gym and walk out without squatting. Squats are very important. Those heavy exercises and compound exercises that boost your testosterone and growth hormone, very important for you. Okay, So that is just about the exercise. Remember on diet, also fasting is very important in boosting your growth hormone and also testosterone. Actually, start intermittent fasting. So basically, first meal, let it be at around 11. Then the last meal, let it be around 7 in the evening. So that is intermittent fasting. You have a lot of time to fast. After you have adopted that, then now you can start that intermittent fasting, two meals a day or one meal a day. Then head to uh, prolonged periodic fast maybe one day in a week you can do a 24-hour fast you eat on friday at 7 p.m then the next day you eat on saturday at 7 p.m after that in a month you can do one prolonged 48-hour fast 
Believe me, you, you will lose weight, you will lose fat, you will boost your testosterone and your sexual ability will be at most. Okay? Then the sun. Now, the sun is the most important endocrine stabilizer and it's free. That penis needs vitamin D. That testosterone needs vitamin D. So go and walk in or bask in the midday sunlight. Sun your balls. Once you sun your balls, you will get an increase in testosterone. Okay? So do not ignore the sun. Leave alone the myths that the sun will cause you cancer and all that. That is not true. Go and bask in the sun and boost your testosterone. Then salt. Anytime you walk into a gym, go with water. Don't take protein shakes. Don't take energy drinks in the gym. Don't take soda. Go with water. And that water, add some salt so that you can replace your, your electrolytes. And again, salt is a good booster for testosterone. Again, in your drinking water, just add a pinch of salt and drink it. You will take maximum uh, utilization of that water and absorption. Okay? So salt is very important. And then above all, rest. Muscles need rest and your body needs sleep. At least eight hours every night is enough to boost your levels of testosterone. So basically, those are just the means uh, or the foods that you should avoid or what you should avoid to help you uh, boost testosterone and again what you should eat to again help you boost this testosterone so these two go hand in hand and once you practice these two then your sexual ability goes up